Good afternoon, Acadiana. Well, sorry for the interruption on if there's an NBA game on. I don't even know because I've been watching weather, but we have the latest forecast data on both Hurricane Marco and Tropical Storm Laura. And boy, are we going to have a week coming up and it's going to start tomorrow night with Marco. Some significant forecast changes with Marco and Laura now expected to be very close to a major hurricane when it makes landfall in the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. We'll have the latest track on this system coming up in just a bit. But Laura surviving pretty much Hispaniola now has got to go through Cuba and we'll be watching this system, how it interacts with Cuba and then what is released into the Gulf of Mexico. Meanwhile, Marco getting upgraded to a hurricane with this burst of convection earlier today, maybe not quite as organized, but still is at hurricane intensity with uh, 75 mile an hour winds as of this four o'clock bulletin. And here's the forecast track uh, bringing it now another change in the track now farther south. So skirting along the Louisiana Louisiana coastline. So this means more rain, more wind for Acadiana instead of a weaker system at 40 or 50 miles an hour. Now we're looking at a maybe a 60 mile an hour storm impacting St. Mary Parish, uh, Lower St. Martin, Iberia and Vermilion parishes. And along and north of this track is where the heavy rainfall threat is going to be. So Marco is not going to be a, a walk in the park and certainly going to be an active storm system. So uh, when do the main conditions come in? It looks like tomorrow night, late tomorrow night. This is Tuesday at 1 a.m. forecast position. Now, mind you, forecast position can change 50 miles uh, just 24 hours out. So it could be on the outer edge of this envelope or it could be farther to the south. The farther south it is, the more rainfall we're going to have and the more surge that we're going to have along the coast. And we're going to discuss that in just a bit. And eventually this system weakens and moves into Texas. Now, as for Laura, this is the latest on Laura, a 60 mile per hour storm. The latest forecast track was near Holly Beach. Now it's near Cameron, so it's pretty pretty much straight on with uh, the GFS model, not so much the European model. And look at the intensity here. Category two, a higher end category two, and the Hurricane Center is suggesting it could be near a category three at landfall on the Cameron coastline. And that's going to be Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening, we think. And certainly this puts all of Acadiana under the risk of not only hurricane force winds, but hurricane rains of 10 to 15 inches and the possibility of a big storm surge similar to that of Rita and Ike. I can't believe I'm saying that, but that is certainly a possibility with this system, and that's what we're going to be factoring in. We're going to be talking about local hurricane impacts with both Marco and Laura coming up on Acadiana's News Channel at 530, and when we have a little bit more time to discuss this. Uh, but as of right now, tropical storm warnings have been hoisted from Cameron all the way through Morgan City. We have a hurricane watch from Vermilion, Iberia, Lower St. Martin, and St. Mary Parishes on eastward hurricane warnings for southeast Louisiana. And now tropical storm warnings in effect uh, for uh, Lafayette, Acadia Parish, and also Jeff Davis Parish. This just coming in and including St. Martin Parish. Uh, just a watch now for St. Landry and Avoyles Parish. But you can see much of Acadiana now under the gun for tropical storm conditions. And what does that mean? Well, probably winds in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range with gusts to 60 or 65. Quite possible, especially down into the southeastern parishes of Acadiana with tropical rain squalls that will be pushing on through. Storm surge watch along the coast. Storm surge warning for southeast Louisiana. This is with just Marco uh, and we think about three to five feet along the coast. So that includes our friends down at Sippermore Point over toward Delcom, uh, then uh, Intracoastal City and uh, across uh, the coastal portions of Vermilion and Cameron Parish. Of course, Highway 82 will be inundated with a three to five foot high water mark uh, depending on the storm track. If it's more inland, less of a surge, but closer to the coast, more of a surge in the as the center passes on by. That's when the water is going to be coming on up and that's going to go into Tuesday and then maybe a much bigger surge coming in uh, with Laura. So it is going to be a whopper of a tropical week ahead. So here we go with the NAM model showing uh, the storm system moving into southeast Louisiana as we head into tomorrow afternoon. The NAM a little bit farther to the north and a little bit weaker than our current forecast track, but we do expect tropical rain bands going into tomorrow night into Tuesday with more thunderstorms 
thunderstorm action going uh, during Tuesday afternoon, some tropical squalls. And there you see Laura looking quite foreboding, uh, entering your lower right hand portion of your screen. As we look at the GFS model, doesn't see much with Marco at all, but we have a hurricane out there. It's not going to com completely disappear, although certainly weaken. And then Laura comes into the equation. The uh, Euro model, by the way, doing not a good job on this run, so we can't show it to you. The GFS looks right on mark with uh, the National Hurricane Center forecast. So this means a big 10 to 15 inch rainfall, a major storm surge and hurricane force winds across southwest Louisiana and into a good part of Acadiana as well, or at least hurricane force gusts. And that's going to be Wednesday night into early Thursday with conditions improving Thursday afternoon. So uh, that's what we have for right now. Taking a quick look at the rainfall, just the GFS rain will catch several inches with Marco more than likely. And then the Laura rainfall that's going to be in the 10 to 15 inch range anywhere in the yellow here will be eight inches or better. And there will be uh, more than likely pushing 10 or 12 inches in spots, uh, depending on how the rain band set up with that storm. So a full update coming your way coming up on Acadiana's news channel at 530. Once again, if you missed this cut in, let me just back up the graphics here, show you the latest on both of our tropical systems. Uh, Marco uh, forecast track has changed and now has got it across the coastal parishes. So uh, tropical storm warnings have been posted for a good part of Acadiana at this hour, and uh, we will be looking at minimally tropical storm conditions, 30, 40 mile an hour winds, tropical rain bands moving on through. Uh, but Marco may be a walk in the park compared to what we might see potentially with Laura, depending on how it's released from uh, that Cuban, uh, the western tip of Cuba. Uh, this could be a category two, maybe pushing a category three storm. Uh, again, category three, 111 or better. So this is going to be a high end category two, possibly category three. And if you remember with Hurricane Ike, that was a cat two over by Houston, and that produced a 10 to 15 foot surge across much of the Louisiana coastline or high water marks. And then Rita came in right along uh, the Sabine pass area. Uh, that was a five the day before it made landfall back in 2005. It made landfall as a two and a half to three and that produced a 15 to 20 foot surge over by Cameron and the rest of the Louisiana coastline 10 to 15 feet. So a serious surge threat coming with Laura on top of a hurricane wind and rain threat and then we have uh, tropical storm Marco to deal with as we go into tomorrow night and into Tuesday. Again a full update coming away on Acadiana's news channel at 10 and uh, at 530 rather, and then we'll be doing a Facebook live an extensive Facebook live at seven o'clock. So you can ask some questions and we hopefully can provide some insightful answers and then another full update with the new set of model tracks coming in at 10 o'clock tonight. So we'll see you then in uh, roughly about an hour and 20 minutes.